Let's get a simple Node.js application going so that we can demo how to use Prisma with PlanetScale. There's a bunch of different ways that we could do this. We could create a Next.js application, for example, and we could use that. We could use API routes, and then we could view something in the client, in the browser. Instead, let's just keep things simple right now. If you would like to get a taste of how to use Prisma with Next.js, I've got a course on that. It's the Getting Started with Prisma course. Instead here, let's just make a directory. I'm gonna call it Planet Scale Prisma, just like the name of our database. Let's CD into that and open it up in VS Code. And then let's get ourselves a node application here. So I will do npm init dash y, that gives us our package JSON. Let's get some dependencies here, npm install, and we need Prisma client. Then we'll need a couple dev dependencies. So we can do npm install dash uppercase D for dev dependency. We need Prisma, so that's the Prisma CLI. We need TypeScript, and we also need TS node dev. That's what will give us live reload for our node application that we use TypeScript for here. Okay, once we've got that, let's touch server.ts. We'll get our main server file here. Then we can go into package.json, and in our scripts area here, let's just remove this test. We'll actually rename it to dev. And the command that we want here is going to be TS node dev against server.ts. I like to start with just a simple little script here in server.ts just to make sure everything is running. So we can have a function, we'll call it main, and we can just say hello. And then we can execute main down here. Now likely what's going to happen when we try to run this is we may or may not get a good result. npm run dev. Let's see if this works for us. Okay, it does work for us. But we may need to make some adjustments to a tsconfig.json file as we start using some of our modules. Sometimes the defaults that ts node dev gives just don't work that well when we're trying to use different packages. But let's see if we get that or not. For now, let's just clear this away and we're going to initialize Prisma. So that's going to be npx Prisma init. When we do that, we get our Prisma directory over here. It comes with a schema.prisma file. Now, the first thing we can do is adjust our provider here. The default provider is Postgres, but what we need is MySQL or MySQL. We we'll want to grab a connection to our database via this URL here, this database URL. So this should be in the environment file, database URL. The default database URL that we get here in our environment file points to a Postgres connection, but that's not what we want, of course. We want to connect to MySQL. So for that, we can do MySQL, and then it's going to be root at 127. And again, this is the IP address that comes when we connect to our PlanetScale database in the terminal, 127.0.0.1 on a port of 3306. And then we need the name of our database. So that in this case is PlanetScale Prisma. All right, so our URL, our database URL should be good to go here. The next thing we need to do is confirm that we can connect through our application. 